From Orna Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world, you've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How she caught me, loves. You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. It's Carrie with Patchouli Rose Herbal Apothecary. Hey everybody, Keith Simpson here from Neural Toyota. Uh, just a quick chat about uh, the wonderful community we live in here. As you guys know, we support the oil barons. We've done the drive-in movie theater. We're involved in the uh, marathon here in Fort McMurray and make sure we're taking care of the kids and all the local businesses, all the local charities and all the local foundations, guys. That's what makes this community such an amazing place to live. And we are back. Big shout out to Neural Toyota, our title sponsor. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As everybody at home knows, I do not introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So, sir, can you please reintroduce yourself to the people at home? Hello, uh, people of Fort McMurray. Uh, my name is uh, Brandon Jesso. It's good to be back again. And uh, as you can see, we got back from our uh, prevent from our provincials. Yes, you did. Yeah, we won two gold Olympic gold medals. There you go. Congratulations. That's yep. a big deal. It was. So tell me about your experience. Let's hear it from. I want to know about how the road trip went. I want to know about the competitions. I want all the details. Okay. So um, the road. Uh, so the road trip on the way down there was very beautiful. Like it was actually super sunny the whole way down. So. Okay. It was very smooth, but we were all uh, just looking forward to getting into our hotel, settle in by the time we got there. Right, of course. And then um, it was uh, unique and inter- interesting because uh, we got uh, letters. There was a school that did a project, and uh, uh, people uh, we got a letter, handwritten a letter from uh, from young kids, and that felt uh, inspiring. Mm-hmm. And like when we got there. When we got to the main venue that first night, it was it was unique. I mean, I met all sorts of people. There was a lot of people from Calgary, from uh, all o- from Edmonton, all over the province. Right. So it was a very unique experience. And then the one thing I remember that night was that out of the blue, we got to meet the uh, mascot for the Edmonton Elks and the uh, mascot for the NHL Oilers. Very cool. Which was a surprise that not that none of the that none of the personnel even knew about. They just showed up, and then um, the opening ceremony that night was very cool. Like we were, so what Buffalo? We were the last team that uh, got called into the parade. Okay. So they did the whole the best uh, save the best for last. All right. Okay. The. Um, <clears throat> The uh the the time and effort that they uh, put into it was just uh, very, very cool and very unique. I mean, they had like the presenter was for uh, they had CTV's uh, Josh Klossom uh, do oh doing the uh, opening ceremonies. Wow! And then they had uh, uh, Terrell Edwards from the for, who was on the the the, the, the Tonight Show with Jay Leno uh, do the opening ceremonies. Wow! And then. And I think the Aboriginal people, I actually forget her name, but, like, uh, she did a good job of presenting, and, like, they had the dancers. Yeah. Like, the drummers, those were pretty, those were actually pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, overall, that night was experiencing, and then um, was very experiencing, very awesome. And then our first day. So we had uh, uh, first day we had our bowling uh, team bowling in the afternoon and um, the one thing I will always remember was uh, how supportive that uh, coach was from book Brooks because he would because he would so we were uh, so we would bowl one lane and then we would swap right and um, he was just high five and everyone and that was a very phenomenal one and I remember. At one point, it what it did get to me after a while the pressure. Okay, but I stu- but we stuck through it to the end. Right, and the um, the way to uh, get in between where the floor hockey team met in our hotel was very cool because we actually rode one of those uh, 
those charter buses, and it was one of those double decker buses. Oh, neat! Yeah, it was a unique experience, no doubt. Yep. And then, um, and then I remember the the second night, the second night there after our first game, our for first games, um, we were actually sitting down in the, the table, and um, they were handing out medals for mm. the team medals. So we did team placement. Uh, the first to get us the games was was for a team. Where they combined our points as, as a team, and okay. then. The second day was for individuals, but the first day I will never forget this moment because we were the very first team called for Olympic gold medal, and we were just looking at around at each other. It was like what were we supposed to do? Because like it was not like it was like more like a moment of complete shock. Okay, okay. Like we were shocked. All right. And then and then it just started settling in because like we got called up and we got handed our first gold medal. Yeah, and that was a surreal feeling. That like that was a feeling that's unexplainable how uh, how awesome it felt. Right. And then the um, and then the dinner that night was pretty cool. We had a uh, glow in the dark uh, themed uh, uh, dance, so uh, which was very cool. And we were actually waiting at our table for so long. So they had a magician there. I forget the guy's name, but he was the main magician for that they had for the Vancouver uh, Winter Olympics in 2010. Oh, okay. And he sh- he had a magic, uh, he tra- showed us a magic uh, trick. And, like, he had these foam little balls. He had Dal- Dallas, uh, uh, my friend Dallas, squeeze them so hard. And I remember filming them, right? Mm-hmm. And then he had the other ball in his hand, one ball in the hand, and it just disappeared. Like, it disappeared out of our natural eyesight and from the camera, and it right. was so cool. Yeah. And, um, like, uh, uh, it was overall a very exciting night. Yeah. And even the even the floor hockey members got in on the moment. And then um, the second, then I remember the second day. The second day for me, um, we got up early in the morning. We were we had our game at seven in the morning. Oh wow! And um, and this time it was individual. And I remember when I was bowling, there was a point where I got nervous, but my friend Dallas helped me. She got me a courage and hot, and you, you know what? Mm-hmm. I did a my brought confident a game because I just felt like. It threw me back to bowling at home at the alley. Right. So so I felt very comfortable. It was very relaxed and I got a I didn't get a turkey during the bowling games, but I almost I almost did. I got a double. What? But um the whole experience was just a very unique. I mean it was it was a. They were busy days, but they went by so fast. No doubt. And we had um, so we actually uh finished our so like we had our we finished our uh bowling bowling game. So it was like three hours. So uh, I was in uh for singles division. I was in the uh, the second division, which is one step higher out of one because there was there was ten divisions over overall. Mm-hmm. So um. I was in Division Two, and uh, Dallas and Gee and uh, Nancy and Chris were in Division One. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I ended up scoring individual four hundred points that day, out of, out of three games. Wow! And um, I didn't find out till later that day that uh, I ended up winning the second. Uh, I was in the second division to, uh, for men. I won the gold medal for that. So. That's so I ended up taking home two gold medals, yeah, and um, and like um, which is awesome. The food was uh, the food was good. Like the yeah. I liked the food that they had. They had a awful lot of preparation. Yeah, yeah. What was it? What you eat? We talking about burgers? We talking about chicken? We had all sorts of. We had my. I remember uh, some chicken. I remember yeah. uh, there was even some lasagna. Oh. All nice. different sorts, like uh, lasagna, potatoes. Uh, they had uh, uh, for 
for breakfast, we had the at, at the hotel. We had uh, uh, the yogurt cups were pretty good. The yogurt cups were really good, and um, so was uh, so was the eggs. Yeah, yeah, nice. all s- sorts of good yeah. stuff. Right, Me and Tanner there. are big on food. So, and as an athlete, you got to eat the right food to perform at your peak. Yes, Ask exactly, you. because uh, it's the right type of food that gives you the right uh, f- form of energy and nutrition. There we go. Now, on that note, we do need to throw it to an ad, though. So we're going to throw it to Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Carrie, take it away. Hi, it's Carrie with Patchouli Rose Herbal Apothecary. I know our summer is coming quickly to an end. Um, and during the summer, we always think of applying our sunscreen. But sunscreen is a product that we should be using every day of the year to protect our skin against harmful UVA and UVB rays, also against premature aging. I have a product called Dandelion Harvest, which is moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and is great for anti-aging. You can use this every day of the year, and it's very moisturizing. If you want to check this product and any of my other products out, please go to patchoulirose.com. And we are back. Thank you, Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Definitely appreciate your ongoing support. Now, I've got a question for you, and you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier. When you're in these competitions, nerves kick in. You might get a little bit anxious. How do you focus and get past that? Well, the important thing to focus to uh, to get past that op- obstacle is to actually it's actually uh, is to take deep breaths, mm-hmm. but to not think. Because when you're stressed out like that, you're overthinking. Your mind's uh, everywhere, and um, it'll ha- it'll affect the ability of how you perform. Facts. So, so it's important to think uh, to make your feel feel that you're uh, make yourself at home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so by j- that by any just by taking any meds that you would take to calm down. Yes. Just do those. Yes. And then always make sure that you're in uh, the right place. Make sure it feels like you're home because we, uh, so we kept the, even though we were in, the, even in the singles games, they kept us, our team together because you don't, uh, you, you perform better with the people you're around with comfortable like cause, cause you know how, you know how they perform and you relate really well. Mm-hmm. Almost like you just, uh, you just like pass things back and forth like a, right. like a, like a, like a paper airplane. That's right. So, so it's important to think that it's important to just really just focus, get rid Eradicate all the distract all the, all the distractions mm-hmm. because uh, when it comes at the moment, it's really should be you and the ball with the pins. Right. But, so uh, it's just you with the ball, the pins, nothing else. And it can be nerve wracking because you see all these other players who have been uh, experienced and been uh, doing that for a long time. Mm-hmm. We just uh, we got. Uh, did so good just to get to provincials within like half a year, and we have not been in provincials in over fifteen years. Wow! So it was a comeback, and now the interesting fact is that we are doing so good, so good that uh, uh, me, Dallas, Nancy, and Gee have been selected to go to nationals in Calgary next year. Wow! Congratulations, guys! That's yeah, huge, and that is very huge, and. Uh, in within a short uh, amount of time, because normally the, the way it goes, you'd have to. It would take like a few years, mm-hmm. but the fact that uh, we are qualified, we qualified for nationals yeah. is different. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So I've got one more question before we cut you loose because we got a bunch of different athletes to uh, chat with. Did you have a chance to engage with? athletes from outside of the wood buffalo community yes i did i actually was interacting with uh, some people that were from drumheller and they were uh they were a very unique bunch amazing group of people yeah like it was like yeah like i interact with several people i mean a lot of people sometimes had the question was like where's what what buffalo that's right that's right that's right (laughs) because we just we did we had to we did we included the municipalities uh name instead of fort max that's right that's right okay cool yeah it was very it was very interesting getting to know meet a lot of new people connect with them yeah 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 that's awesome man well listen that's the end of the show you're a natural this is easy to talk to you uh, congratulations on those medals. 
But as you know, because you've been here before, it's the end of the show, so you get a shameless shout-out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. I will get, just give a shout-out to my family, my mom and my dad, for and my sister for supporting me and giving me the courage. I will shout out. I will just give a shout out to uh, to you guys, the ones that are behind you, the behind the camera, and uh, and I'll give a shout out to Katie again, just to make sure to, just to make her all flustered the next time she watches us. There we go. I love it. Well, for McMurray with Buffalo, the rest of the world. That's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Noral Toyota, as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Thank you both for your ongoing support. I hope everybody at home is having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.